In this session, we're going to examine statuses and roles here at RIST for teachers. We all hold positions, and these positions exist in a network of human interactions. Easier said, we all live in groups, and we all have statuses within these groups, and these are our positions, and with these positions come roles or behaviors for these statuses. Now these might be different types of statuses, which would mean we have different roles to fulfill these statuses. This means that also they change depending on our situation and age. And when you group people with different statuses together for a specific purpose to meet needs of other people, we call these social institutions. So let's start with the basics here. Here at RAST, we have statuses and roles. And these basics are that status is a position that we occupy within a group, a role that goes with a specific a status. It's what's expected of us in our behaviors. So, for example, a status could be a student. And a student has a specific role to play. Their role to play is to study to learn new, new knowledge. Likewise, an athlete would have a role as well. Their role would to be exercise and to win. So there's various types of statuses. There's a master status, which is the number one status at, at any given moment that we're in, and a secondary status, which is not the most important status at the time. Now these statuses within a group form our identity. And given the situation and our age, these statuses will change throughout our lifetime. So let's take a look at a, a newly married woman. She might consider her master status as a wife. Now, before she was a wife, she might have been a store manager or best friend. But now that she's newly married, she sees herself as a wife before the other two. Now these master statuses uh, and secondary statuses can also be various types. One type is a scribe status. This is something that is assigned to us by culture. So our newly married married lady, newly married woman, she's in a marriage and she's a woman. That makes her a wife. Now a culture will tell the wife certain roles that she might play within the marriage. Another type of status is achieved status. It's something that we acquire, something that we earn. Let's say clothing store. Our woman is also working in a clothing store. And she becomes a top performer in the clothing store. As a result of her performance, she becomes a manager. This is something that she has earned. Now, we said that statuses can change and our roles can change. So role dynamics. A role, again, is expected behaviors of a status, something we, we are expected to do depending on our position. Now there's different types of roles and how they're, they're categorized. We have reciprocal roles, which is behavior dependent. Basically what that means is if I'm a husband, then I have to have a wife. I cannot be a husband without a wife. It determines my behavior. Also, a manager. You cannot be a manager without an employee. Employees will have managers. So the two statuses play off of each other to determine the roles that they have. Now these roles become expected. Role expectations. What is expected of a person in a specific status? So for instance, a wife might be expected to pay the monthly bills. Also, a manager might be expected to listen to the employees. Now, you have the expectations, but then you also have what we call role performance. Does the person meet the expectations of their status? If the wife forgets to pay a bill, then maybe she did not necessarily meet that particular role performance. Perhaps a manager did not 
listen to their employees. They, they ac accidentally or purposely ignored them. Again, that affects their role performance. It's sort of like a grade of their status. Now, role performance can be, can be troublesome for many people because it pulls different roles and different, different statuses might comp make things complex for a person. So for instance, a role strain, it, within one status we have multiple roles and these roles keep piling up. And with each role, the other role becomes a little bit more difficult to fulfill. And so our role performance may not be what is expected of us. Another type of strain or uh, difficulty you might have with role performance comes with role conflict. Now role conflict is different than role status or role strain in that you have one status and one role set. But then you add on top of that another status and role set. And fulfilling each role set with each status becomes even more difficult. So let's take a look at our um, newly married couple. Let's say that there's a house party for a husband's work. And the wife is expected to perform certain duties, certain roles. Now, she might experience role strain. She has to go grocery shopping. She has to host, she has to clean the house to make it look nice. She has to garden to make the outside of the house look nice. She has to make meals. All of these she has to do in a couple of days. Now this could be somewhat stressful. Then you can take a look at role conflict. What even makes her role performance even harder to fulfill? Well, she's a wife. We said that. She has a role set. We've, we've examined that as well. But then, add on top of that, she's also a store manager. So her role set as a store manager might interfere and make her role as a wife more difficult because she has to not only take care of the role set for the wife, but now she has to take care of the role set of the store manager, attend meetings, uh, make, make deadlines, close the store, deal with employees, all while she's trying to do her wifely duties. So. Institutions are groups of people that help us with these. Now, a group of people become associated with certain statuses. And this association is made to meet the basic needs of other people. Physical support needs, emotional support needs, ways of transmitting knowledge, producing goods and services for people, and also control and give safety to people. So let's take a look at some of examples for this. A hospital, for instance, provides physical support to maintain health. Doctors, nurses, secretary, staff, they're all there to help us have healthy bodies. Family, emotional support. They provide us companionship, a place where we can tell our feelings and feel accepted. University. A university transmit knowledge. You have professors, you have teacher assistants, you have secretary staff, you have counselors, all for higher education purposes. Then you have restaurants. Restaurants has waiters, they have waitresses, they have busboys, they have managers, they have hostesses, all to feed us. And then the court system. You have, of course, a judge. You have uh, policemen. You have police women. You have uh, clerical staff. You have lawyers. All to provide safety and security and control for our society. So how does this relate to your position at RAST? Well, we are a social institution. Now, that means that every one of us has a status or a position we occupy within this group. With this status, of course, we have roles, the expected behaviors of the status. So a teacher needs to fulfill 
the role expectations, such as provide knowledge and experience to students. So the teacher might have master status of, of teacher right now, but that teacher is also a husband, a daughter, a son, a wife, a friend. And these statuses will form the identity of the individual in whatever context that they are in at the same time. Now, this can change with situation and age. Again, we all have master and secondary statuses, and these can be ascribed. So, our culture assigns us certain roles and, and behaviors we have to play as a woman or man. So when we come to work, we have these roles that's what's expected of us as depending on our gender. Now, the other type is achieved status. Now you, had, you have had college education and experience and this has earned your right to work as an RIST teacher. Now these roles uh, can change uh, the expected behaviors of a status. Of course we have the reciprocal roles. You teach. Teach your student. You cannot teach without a student. Therefore your status as a teacher is dependent on the status of a student. Administrator and teacher. Administrators need something to administer. Therefore teachers are uh, reciprocal roles of administrators. Role expectations. Obviously we expect to teach as teachers. Now that means that we need to plan and assess the learning of our students and it also means that we need to follow standards and contribute to the faculty in general. Now of course those are what's expected so we have a role performance and if we meet the role performance we we are able to get a renewed contract and continue teaching the following year so we have to make sure that the teaching is effective and also we meet deadlines so that we can fulfill our role expectations and meet our performance now this can cause uh, some stress it can cause uh, a teacher to feel pulled in many different directions with the different statuses that they have, with the different obligations that they must ful fulfill, with the different expectations they might have. So within our status as a teacher, we have to think about our professional development, our grading obligations, our meetings that we have to attend, our parent relationships, managing student behavior and our own behavior, self-evaluation, um, uh, supporting our co-workers, learning new things, researching and coaching and lesson plans, all of which can make a, a very stressful day. But add to that as, as role conflict. Not only do we have our status, our, our uh, primary status, but we also have other statuses such as husband and father. So we, we have to possibly, a husband and father needs to teach, to teach their own children. They, they have to do their own housework, they have to attend events for their kids, they have to babysit, they have to watch over their child. But then they also have all their obligations for a teacher. Uh, they have to grade, they have to plan, they have to report, they have to do professional development. When you combine these and they overlap, stress and, and performance issues might become a problem. So here at RAST we've grouped everyone together um, and we fulfill a need. We are secretaries, teachers, principals, and counselors. And we exist and are associated with these in order to meet the needs of our students who need to be educated and taught by transmitting knowledge, encouraging them, teaching skills to them, working with parents, and keeping records so that our students will have a bright future 